CERN latest alert. Large Hadron Collider could create black hole and destroy Earth. A top astronomer states, a black hole could form and shrink Earth. This is unbelievable, but this is what the astronomer says. It could shrink Earth to the size of a football field if particle accelerator experiments go wrong. Sean Martin, Express UK reports, this is not, not the first time we've heard of this. Astronomer Royal Lord Martin Rees from the UK believes that experiments at places like the Large Hadron Collider could have deadly consequences for all life on Earth. At the LHC at CERN, researchers smash particles, as we know, into each other so researchers can discover new types of particles, such as the Higgs boson or what they call the God particle, what they say was found in 2012 at the CERN LHC in Switzerland. But when particles collide almost light speed, their gravitational pull is trapped, theoretically could make this turn into a black hole. In his new book on the future, Prospects for Humanity, Lord Rees outlines how these experiments could go hugely wrong. He says maybe a black hole could form and then suck in everything around it. The second scary possibility, he says, is that the quarks, the quarks, Q-U-A-R-K-S, the quarks would reassemble themselves into compressed objects called strangelets. They call them strangelets because they don't know what they could be. And he says, that in itself would be harmless. However, under some hypotheses, a strangelet could, by contagion, convert everything else it encounters into a new form of matter, transforming the entire Earth into a hyperdense sphere about 100 meters across. That's what he says It's about the size of a dense football field. Lord Rees said the third way particle accelerates could obliterate Earth is by creating a catastrophic uh, catastrophe that engulfs space itself. Isn't that yummy? He said empty space, what physicists call the vacuum, is more than just nothingness. It is an area for everything that happens. It has latent in it all the forces and particles that govern the physics world. The present vacuum could be fragile and unstable. And he goes on to explain, some have speculated that the concentrated energy created when particles crash together could trigger a phase transition that would rip the fabric of space. How delicious is that? He says this would be a cosmic calamity, not just a terrestrial calamity. In other words, man has succeeded in creating a type of physical uh, change through this CERN technology that could destroy not only Earth, life on Earth, but all the universe. This is what he's claiming. The vacuum of space. CERN, however, the institute which runs the LHC, says there's no chance the massive machine could destroy our planet. Their website says the LHC Safely Assessment Group, LSAG, reaffirms and extends the conclusion of the 2003 report that LHC collis LHC, la the Large Hadron Collider collisions, present no danger and that there are no reasons for concern. But whatever the LHC will do, nature has already done many times over during the lifetime of the Earth and other astronomical bodies, they explain. As they stated previously, the LHC is responsible for the discovery, they say, of the Higgs boson particle. This is a particle that has been uh, evading physics since the 1960s when it was first theorized by Peter Higgs. Now, the standard model is a theory in particle physics that dictates how all particles in the universe interact. The Higgs boson, known as the God particle, they decided to call it, was deemed necessary to give mass to other particles. The discovery of this Higgs boson particle 
that took place in 2012 validated generations worth of physicists' theoretical work, they say. And without this Higg boson God particle, scientists claim mass would fundamentally not exist. And now, again, this is not the first time we've heard that the Large Hadron Collider at CERN could create a black hole. The, as far as the strangelets they view as potential serious problem, they say they could range in size to a few meters across, strangelets built up from quarks and predicted to be extraordinarily stable if produced in the Large Hadron Collider. The theorized properties of these strangelets would allow them to start a runaway fusion process that would convert all of the Earth into a strange matter star, whatever that is, a star of strange matter. But most atomic physicists believe that the energy levels and temperatures inside the LHC preclude the formation of strangelets, which are destined to remain only a theoretical thing for some time. How delicious. I, you know, I get upset when I read things like that. How is it that scientists are allowed to conduct such experiments? Creating black holes and strangelets and perhaps changing the fabric of Earth, not only Earth, but what connects our solar system with other solar systems and other galaxies. It's not enough that they have to somehow turn the Earth into a strange planet, a planet full of strange matter, or create a black hole that would suck in the Earth, but they also have to contaminate the whole of our neighboring universe with all this. Strange. This is on uh, physics, scribble, physics, science, and also on uh, Express UK. I'll leave links below for you for this.